it's Monday. I picked these three knives up yesterday from a fellow. The guy next door has put the new roof on. <laughs> Stand by me. They're Lamston Sharp, they call them. Made in uh, Maine, no, Massachusetts. They're pretty, really nice knives. They were scratched up really bad. I didn't show you the before. I buffed them all up, dropped them. I gotta take them back to him today in a few minutes, as a matter of fact. And then I gotta pick up a gang of more knives from another fella. Stand by. Well, I just picked up the other knives. Says Max. Stand by. Oh boy. <laughs> A gathering of steak knives. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. I don't see any name on them unless they wore off or something, you know. Okay. Be home in about ten minutes. There it is. We're getting ready to give her a try right now. Mmm. Poppy seed cake is called. Mmm. Well, it's Tuesday morning. I just got back from picking up a lawnmower blade. Not too bad a shape. I've seen a lot, a lot worse. Uh, one couple chips of that in. This one's almost perfect. This won't be too hard. And then the same person gave me some knives. I'm not going too deep here. China. Nice ticket. Not sure what this one is. This looks like a Carver Hall. It's like a slicer. You see those little water marks and all on it right there? I'm going to take those off. I got a pair of fist cars, it looks like. Yep, his cars, and a pair of, uh, I presume, Chinese. I don't see any marks anywhere. Might be from somewhere else. And then I got a pair of hair shears, scissors. These look to be rather old. Stand by a minute. I can't make out what it says. It looks like it's Griffon. G-R-I-F-F-O-N with parenthesis. And on the other side it says 0900 Italy. I can't see Italy right there. Now these are in kind of rough condition. As you, I hope you can see. Now I'm going to show you what this buffer can do. Now this is a, what they call a sisal wheel. Those of you know buff, buffins know this is really coarse rope sisal. And you put different kind of really coarse compounds on it. 
and I'm using 6154. It's called, I think it's called 4 Max for the initial cleanup. Then I use green compound for the polishing on this side over here. This is some really good stuff. I don't know if it's as good as Ken's Diamond stuff he uses, but it's a whole lot cheaper. It's really coarse. Looks like emery. Actually, it's coarser than emery. But I don't know what how coarse it is. I get it from Caswell. I'll give you the link to it so you can look it up. And that's about it. Let's get to work. Oh, wait a minute. I got beaver gold. I'll put the link to beaver gold. Beaver went to the beach to the land of Nada yesterday with several looters. Uh, they all found lots and lots and lots of targets, but I think Beaver found the only piece of yellow. Nice 14K band. And lots and lots of bullets. I mean bullets like you would not believe. I never, in 20, over 20 some years, I don't think I've ever seen one person find that many bullets. Bullet heads, I should say. Stand by, you'll like it. Okay, this is initially on the big Cecil wheel with the really rough compound. sink. No, I told you it's rough as brakes and then look at this, look at that wind. It's really bad today. All polished up and sharp. Got them upside down. Fiskers. And these babies. All polished up and sharp. I just tried them on Jack's hair. They work good. I don't think Jack liked it, but it was okay, he said. Wednesday. No, today's Thursday. I'm a day behind. Thursday, yeah. Big upholstery scissors. And then this gentleman right here just brought me a sword. <laughs> Cane sword. Stand by. You remember that really heavy compound called Formax? I tell you, I was going to give you the link to. Here it is. This came in. I'm not going to box it, but you can see it says Formax right there. That's some good stuff for cutting off dirt and rust and whatever else you're trying to clean up. Sap off of shears and pruners and things like that okay I try to finish this up today